hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i will be showing you guys how i achieved this beautiful triangle box braid look um so if you want to see how i get this done stay tuned So my client has a um, 4C, 3C kind of hair um, texture. Um, so to make it easy for um, me to braid and to have that sleek, neat look, I'm just gonna stretch it out with a blow dryer a little bit before uh, parting the hair. So I'm done blow drying. I'm just gonna take my um, hair band and just put it up in a ponytail to get it out of the way that way it's easier for me to part so i apply some shine and jam and i will be also using the rubber bands uh, method up uh, here is very short and thin in the back so i will be using the um, rubber band um, that to reduce the tension from the extension and to also make it last longer you don't want your braids um, falling out uh, after a um, couple of days so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing if not um, not to worry I apologize about the camera position I'm still gonna um, show you guys a closer look so I hear um, some people complain about the rubber bands um, method ripping out the hair um, I personally think um, the best way to do it is to put um, some oil on the rubber bands before installing it into the hair that way it slips right through and when you are about to take it out is uh, makes it also easier for you to take out okay so now i will be showing you guys how i um, part the hair the triangle part um, so i already applied the shine and jan i'm just combing it through the hair and i'm just gonna take my um, cutting comb and just cut it all the way around and then I'm gonna um, start cutting the triangle part I cut into the uh, design that I already had in the back. So after parting, you're just gonna apply um, some amount of shining jam um, that um, makes your um, part more defined and neater. So I braided the ones in the middle without the rubber bands because um, she has a thicker hair um, right there in some part of her uh, head. So I only used the rubber band for the first um, layers in the back and then around the edges and on top of her head that way um, it um, lasts longer.
see I'm making sure I'm talking in a natural hair at the back of the extension here um, so her hair is not um, showing um, that's way it looks neater
as you can see, I already part the rest of our hair and put them in more bits um, that way it's faster and easier for me to do it. So, and that's it. So when you're done braiding, you're just going to take your most of setting lotion and you're just going to apply it on the root and um, the top part of the braids. Um, not the ends yet because I'm still going to put the ends in hot water. Then after putting in hot water, I'm going to put uh, more of the mousse on the braids. So when dipping your ends in hot water, you want to make sure um, you are running your towel through it um, so it's not um, curling up. Um, if you want to have that straight um, silky look, you have to make sure you're running your um, towel through it immediately after you put it in the hot water. I'm just taking my blow dryer and put it in a cool setting to dry the hair. And I'm just gonna moisturize with the olive um, coconut oil. And guys, this smells so good. So you're just gonna style it by laying the edges and that's pretty much it. I had so much fun creating this look. I've done this countless time and it's still one of my favorite styles to do. So I thought why not share it with you guys. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment down below. I always reply each and every comment on my videos. I also included all the products that I use for this um, tutorial in the description box for you guys. Please check that out. Also subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bells to get notified each time I post a video. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. My Instagram and Facebook page is at saw that one too and have a blessed day. Bye.